The OG Tone and Suge Show is made for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. I told him to look like a prehistoric squirrel. I told him nigga he looked like a thirsty camel. Look, I'm going to tell you like this look, baby. I'm all about counsel. All that. <laughs> what up? We on? Well, we on, man. My man's and my man's them's getting some good news right now, man. Hold on, man. Now nah, hold on, y'all. Yeah, hold on, man. Hold on, my man's them getting some good news right now. Hold on, wait a minute. My sister, shout out Tasha Watson, my sister. What's up, Tasha? Real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. It's just the it's just the same Chicago. Tasha. My mama ain't got yeah. cancer, man. Beautiful. Day. That is awesome, man. Man, made my day. That is awesome, man. Hell yeah. Congratulations, my brother. Yeah. Made my day. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, y'all go ahead. Okay. I love you, too. Love you, too. All right. Love you. Nah, nigga, shut up, nigga. That's my sister, nigga. I can't tell I love her. No, nigga. I'm a you brother. You like her? No, I won't be your brother in law, bro. You ugly as hell. Yo, what up? OG Tony Shook Show. <laughs> Let's go, man. Just got some good news, man. My mother's chest results came back. She's cancel free. Wow, God is good, man. What you been up to, bro? Man, I ain't been doing nothing, man. Just trying to survive out here, man. You know? Like we all doing, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Trying to survive out here. I have put a little bit more money into them stock markets, though. You know what I'm saying? I've been dabbling. Man, just different things, man. But I will tell you one thing. Like these uh, these pharmaceutical companies, that's the move, man. That's the move. Yeah, because they kill them. That's the move. They kill them. That's the move. Plus, Doge is down right now, so people are selling out. Like, people are selling out. They're getting out. So, if you want to get some Doge, Doge now's going. the time. Yeah, Doge, Doge going. Going. Now's the time. Hey, bro, no, it was an article, bro. I just I just seen it. We can't pull it up, but it's an article. A dude put $20 into a cryptocurrency called Rocket Bunny. Yeah, I heard about that. Made $1 trillion overnight. Hold on, wait a minute. I, I, I think I need to be fact. No. Yeah. $20 to $1 trillion. $1 trillion. Oh, it's on Apple News. It's on Apple News. Go on Apple News and search it, bro. I yeah, don't know I about seen that. it. I said, I, I don't know about it. Real, real talk. I wouldn't lie to you. He made he put twenty thousand was a trigger there overnight. Okay, so how long ago did he put the twenty in? No, nah, it was not. Nah, he just I don't know when he put the twenty in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It had to be a minute. Had, nah, nah, nah. Cause he said overnight, so he must have put that dub in there. One day and the next day was trigger, bro. Look it up. Nah, I'm saying you can, but look, you can be you can be overnight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, look, look out! I, I gotta move this mic back. Me. Man, me too. I wish I would. I wish I would have been on the Bitcoin back in the day. Right. This is going for like thirty five thousand a share, right? Well, now. I was on like Bitcoin back in the day, bro. When I own, when I own the restaurant, Crush. Yeah. Shout out to all the owners of Crush. Uh, yeah, I was doing that Bitcoin stuff, bro, and I was great getting into it. But you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I ain't breaking into this shit, bro. If I had to did it back in, bro, it was like six hundred, seven hundred dollars a coin, bro. bro. We we bro, pay we pay rich. for our second thoughts, bro. We pay for our second thoughts, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, we gonna get into it, man. Uh, First thing we want to talk about the uh, Juneteenth. Yep, just happened. Juneteenth this past weekend, we I went to a, a knowledge fest down at the Muhammad Ali Center here in uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, where Muhammad Ali is from. The baddest nigga ever to step in that ring. If uh, uh, what's his name, Floyd Mayweather, but could read, you know what I'm saying? He might have been the baddest <laughs> nigga, but you know, anyway. Floyd Mayweather can read, man. Yeah, he can read. 20s and 50s and 100s. That's all he got to read. That's all he got to read. That's all he got to read. That's all he got. He walk around with a million dollars in a duffel bag every hey, day. Man. Hey, man, but I swear. That's he, all he got to read. He looked like a five foot uh, 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 um, Kevin Durant. <laughs> he got the same hair. Oh, my God. Them niggas got the same grade, bro. I think we spoke with that last week. Bro. Yeah, this is they a bad got, grade. Ever, that's like going to a restaurant. How would you ever, okay, how could you ever go to a restaurant 
And you know how they got the numbers in the windows? Yeah. The letters in the windows, and you go to the restaurant, they got an F. <laughs> you ever seen that? You, go you, got, an you got an F grade on your hairline. Your hairline yeah, is an F. They got roaches in there. Your, in your, your hairline hair. is an F. <laughs> right, bro. F, bro. They got a great F hairline, a great F hair grade, bro. Hey, y'all be in us. Love y'all, bro. I ain't gonna never knock y'all, bro. I wish y'all send me a bet. You know what I'm saying? My motherfucking, uh, what's my cash app? Uh, uh, dollar sign OG Tone 19. Hit me up. But, or uh, dollar sign Sean 5022. You know what I mean? Go cool. slide it in. That's what you light skin niggas do. Slide it in. You slide it in. Like you can say. That's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. Nah, that is the worst. That is the worst bad, dance. That's the most terrible dance I've ever seen. Bad, bro. All right, but but going forward, <laughs> going hey, forward. But June was this weekend, man. Hey, I had a beautiful time, man. Went to the Knowledge Fest, like I said, Muhammad Ali Center. Talked to Doctor Boyce Watkins. I interviewed him. I interviewed, I interviewed Styles P from the Locks. You nice, know what I'm nice. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time, bro. Even though Styles P, I, I can even. Hey, bro, I was nervous, bro, because like <laughs> I don't really listen to East Coast. You hear me? Yeah. And like I couldn't even think of a song to sing a rap. You feel me? So I'm like, I said, what you got coming out next? You hear me? Hey, and if he sees, bro, hey, on my mom. You know what I'm saying? You cold? He's a legend. That's a fact. He's a legend. You go down the history. The Locks, you know man. But Jada, locks, Jada, Jada Kiss. Now I fucks with Jada. I fucks with Jake. Yeah, Jake's yeah. hard. I fucks with Jake. I mean, he made you know him. He made him. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I don't know if he made him, bro. They was a lot, bro. Him. They was our, they was our rough riders for yeah, real. DMX, shout out RIP DMX. You know what I'm DMX. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but Juneteenth, man. Now they just what's what's your view on that, man? And making a making that a holiday, a federal holiday. My opinion, honestly, man, I feel like it's kind of, you know, condescending, to be to be honest. Like, it's condescending. We've been celebrating this for 100 years, you know what I mean? Or more. And, like, that now you want to make a holiday? Like, now you want it to be a holiday well, I thought after you everything know. that's happened? All right, you, maybe you're coming to your senses. I, I can see the other side of it. Maybe you're coming to your senses a little bit. But, really, it's, it seems real condescending in real life. But you, but you know what's crazy? I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, the governor in, in Georgia, Brian Kemp, Made a pass the bill that says that you can't get paid leave for June, Juneteenth, bro. You can't, you no, cannot in the state of Georgia. In the state of Georgia, you, you cannot you can't, get paid. Yeah. I mean, it's at the employee, employer's discretion, right? But he made it, he passed the bill, like you know what I'm saying. So the, the it's not gonna be recognized, say, yeah. yeah. You can't get a recognized day off, you know what I'm saying, for uh, uh, Juneteenth, bro. I'm talking about like, man, it's it's and with the race theory and all this stuff, bro. Listen to me, bro. The crazy thing is they don't want to reckon with what what went down in the past and what they did, bro. So they want to try to they 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 uh who who said that? Can we all just get along? Rodney King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They trying to do a Rodney King. You understand what I'm saying? And not expose what what they done did to us. You know what I'm saying? What they done did over time. You understand? That's what, what I'm saying? saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it's kind of condescending. Kind of like you yeah. know, all all this stuff has happened over all these years. All these many things has happened um in today's society as well. You know what I'm saying? With the police and everything and. You went, you went, you went Harvard right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. yeah, you know, I, I got a little bit of intelligence about myself. My guy. I didn't say it was but intelligence. What I'm saying is, is that all these things have happened, and all of a sudden now you want to make it a holiday when right. it's it's been a holiday. It's right. been a holiday for black people for generation. Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. Well, so, you know they not they don't want they just now really like because of all with the George Floyd rest in peace George. You know what I'm saying? When that happened, bro, a whole lot of social stuff started happening, bro. And people start realizing, man, we need to go ahead and reckon with this right now. You know what I'm saying? We need to go ahead and get this together right now because. And then, you know what I'm saying? The uh, I mean, agreed, agreed. The I Tulsa agree. The Tulsa Massacre, the Black Wall Street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, no, they done agreed, did some horrible, agreed, agreed, some horrible agreed. stuff. They try, like, it's, it's like it's like it's a movement towards an awakening. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. To, for you to do that, like just we're just gonna make this just a national holiday. Yeah, yeah. You but know? I mean, I mean, look, it's it's my it's thing. just like it's, it's kind of condescending, bro. Okay, we we could say it. Yeah. Okay, cool. But fuck it. Okay, give me a day off. Give me a day off. Pay. I didn't get a day off. I take it. I I'm just saying. I did. I don't. I did. I got a cleaning service. I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I ain't got a day off. Yeah. No. I don't. I didn't get that day. Yeah, off. It's day. not like it's Christmas. I took my day off. That's what I do. That's okay. what dark skin niggas All do. All right, boss man. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. Hey, niggas, the <laughs> dark skin, it, light man. skin. We not gonna do that. Right, look bro. at you. You stuck your tongue. I'm like, ah. yeah, yeah. This is, this is a dark skin <laughs> shit. We <laughs> we not gonna do that again. What I do, bro? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> funny looking motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, could, I ain't even have that's a how you, That's right how you gonna represent Dark Skin. Hey, fell, hey, Dark Skin people, that's how you represent Dark Skin. Hey, I'm gonna tell you how I rep when I whoop his light skin, nigga. Right? Right. I'm gonna show you how I rep Dark Skin. You're gonna have a long day. Somebody bring him up a bag lunch. You're gonna have a long day. 
Anyway, at least I'm gonna be able to eat because I'm gonna close your jaw when I get done with you. Okay, well, yeah. if you can see your food, because both your eyes are gonna be closed. You a lie. My mm-hmm. eyes ain't never been closed in my life. Let's Ooh, get that right. First never. time for everything. I guess. And have it be done by a light skinned dude too. Nah, that's gonna kill him that out. Happen, bro. That's gonna kill him out. Know, that's gonna kill him. He'll never be able to do it again. He'll never. He'll sleep, never bro. be able to bring up sleep, skin shade if, ever if, again. If, 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 if I close his eyes, eyes if I dot both his eyes, he'll never be able to bring up light skin shade again. I swear, I'm gonna be the coldest blind ninja in the world, bro. Because I swear to God, I'm gonna slice you and beat you to death. Because I'm gonna be toe up because I'm blind by light skin, bro. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't woo side like that. I you're will not braille in, beat in, you up, You're not bro. in connection to your bro, I will, uh, I will senses like that. I will beat you up in braille, bro. Not both eyes. Head. I don't care, bro. You hear me? You read in braille, my guy. You move in sight. Now you want to be literal, bro. Gotcha. Now you want to be literal. Y'all heard that. Listen to me, man. All right, so, Listen, Juneteenth. Back, back, to back to the subject. Back to the subject. Juneteenth. Yeah, okay. So, I feel like it's kind of... How you feel about it? We, you, you didn't really I'm, express your feelings. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. You understand what I'm saying? It's crazy that there's now a federal holiday that represents them not mutilating and beating us and killing us and murdering us. That's what I'm thinking about. This is actually a holiday where they took, like in Texas, two years after emancipation, emancipation, whatever it is, emancipation. Yeah, emancipation, emancipation proclamation. Two proclamation. years after this, you know what I'm saying? East niggas is just realizing they slaves. You know what I'm saying? They, they not slaves no more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They free. Yeah. That's crazy. That's how, that's how bad it was, bro. Well, they I mean, that's because they didn't tell them. Nah, but that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. how bad it was, bro. Nah, but look, listen to me, bro. I, they already knew. They're like, nah, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm sit on that. Uh, I need y'all to keep working for me. You know what I'm saying? For two more years, bro. So if, any, if, anybody, you, if anybody that's listening doesn't know what Juneteenth is, that's the day that Texas recognized the, the Emancipation Proclamation. The last, the last and they, state. they freed the states, right? Yeah, the last state. And it was like 18 something or whatever. 1865. 1865. Yeah. Okay. So just, just to have some, some clarification on what we're talking about. Right, right. And then what he's saying is, you know, there's there's been uh like stories that's come out along through throughout the throughout the time and you know what I'm saying, where there were slaves for a couple years after that. Yeah, no, nah, it, nah, it was not. Nah, people did nah, they like the slaves nah. didn't even know that they were still slaves. Right? Yeah, it was it after yeah two years after Emancipation Proclamation. Right. Yeah, yeah. So like you know, what I'm saying June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five. Yeah. But it's a lot. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of history, man, involved in 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 in, in Juneteenth and and really, you know, what I'm saying what we going through today. Like I read, I read something that said, man, but that, they going back to Jim Crow laws with these. Um, Voter restrictions and all of that stuff, bro. They don't want us to vote, man. They don't want us. They they don't want. They don't want us. They don't want to make it easy for us to vote. They want to make it hard. Which is all the more reason to go vote. Yeah. Like if you can vote as a as a as a person of color, whether you black, Hispanic, uh, Indian, you know, Asian, whatever it may be, you know, if you can go vote, please go vote. Make your voice be heard. Yeah. Go vote. You know, I can't vote. That's what all this stuff, all this stuff is affected by that. Yeah. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. It I depends can't on who vote, you put in so. office is kind of how things sway. Yeah, but they are, yeah. listen, I think they are crooked though. No, 100% they're all crooked. I, I completely crooked. agree with that. Yeah. 100% yeah. they're all crooked. What was you saying, Cam? I seen you whispering something. Huh? Okay. Uh, OG Tony Shook Show, we about to take a break, pay some bills. Yeah, man. If y'all want to get a commercial on there, hit us up, man. I'll call this number. Kyle Lynn, we about to talk about the NBA here in a minute. Yeah, we won't get to some NBA, some sports playoffs. Your dirt is our business. Commercial cleaning. We educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No limit cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. Are you a poet for the people? Illuminating the emotions of those who know what suffering from an unjust system feels like. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to hold a crowd by the ears, so for us to take on that role with our God-given craft, it's only right. Are you a poet for the people? A destiny meant not for the weak. We too have suffered trials and tribulations, experienced in rebuilding what was once torn down with the words that we speak. Beep, 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 beep. Yo, we back. We back. 
OG Tony Shook Show. What's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah, we was talking about Juneteenth and uh, we had a nice little conversation about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My thing is, I'm talking about like, I, I know a little bit about how politics work, but it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you, do you think like if a Republican gets elected as, I'm not just saying, I'm just saying, just say anybody get elected as president and they don't want that to be a holiday, can they reverse that and not make it a federal holiday? Like, I could see Trump, if Trump getting reelected and then voting it not to be another holiday and sign an executive order. I'm not even going, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty educated about this stuff. However, that right there, the the holidays and everything, I'm not sure how that works. So I'm not, yeah. I can't speak intelligently intelligently on that. So I don't know. I don't well, even want to touch it. At least we know we got it for the next four years. Why <laughs> Biden's and all? At least we got it for the next four years. Yeah. Paid leave, June nineteenth. You know what I'm talking unless about? Unless you unless you live in Georgia. Unless you live in Georgia. That's a lot of us in Georgia. That's a lot of us in Georgia, man. That's a chocolate of, city, man. Chocolate they don't call it chocolate city, city for no I reason. I love Atlanta. Shout out to yeah. Atlanta, man. I love Atlanta. If anybody in Atlanta wants to come get on my show, I'll pay for your uh, bus ticket. I can't shoot you on no plane. A bus ticket? Who take the bus? <laughs> <laughs> what, we 17? <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Now, if y'all want me to come on, man, I'll send, you, I'll send you down to the Army. I'll fly you on the plane, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Come mess with me on my show, bro. We trying to get it big. Hey, we make sure y'all put big. that on OG Tones tab. And I'm like, hey, I ain't paying for that. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I'm I not tripping. I'm paying for that. I got 18 PPP loans. Man. That's Good. cool. That's cool. Good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that. not paying for it. Yeah, all right. I made like 1.5 million on PPP. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's awesome. I'm lying because I don't even want to put myself in front of the camera like that. The police come ride for me. I mean, mean, what money, right? What like, money? what money? You <laughs> tell me? Yo, but yeah, man. June 19th, federal holiday. And if anybody got anything, you know what I'm saying, you want to add to this chime discussion, in. Call, please chime hey, in. Call listen, in. Our number's whatever. open. Our number's on the TV screen. All through the show. If you want to call and just say what's up, you want to call and say, "Hey man, fuck you." If you want to call and say, "Man, I know your sister, or I know your wife, or I know your mama, if I know somebody that you know, I fucks with you, we watch your show." Call in, man. You know what I'm saying? This call is free, bro. You know what I'm saying? Call Unless in. Let us know how you feel. We want to. We want to know how you feel, man. So like, yeah. share, comment, Chime in on anything and that we call us, about. man. Let us know what's going on. Yeah, right. Back. Let us know how you feel, man. That's the reason why we're bringing up these subjects, man, and the reason why we're talking about yeah, these Yeah, we want topics. the input. We want, we want the input. We want, we want the feedback. We want the exact From all six and a half of them. All right. Yeah. All six and a half? Yeah, the six and a midget. Yeah. I think they call yeah, little people. 11, we got to 11? I think they call little people. Show out then, 11 viewers, man. Show out. I know, I know Mike Biggers is watching. Is no one else recognizes that he didn't say little people? Huh? No one else says that? What you mean? You call, call him a midget. Midget and yeah. little people. Am I supposed to say little people? Yeah, you're supposed to say little people. They get they get very angry if you don't call them little. You call them a midget, they get very very angry. You ever seen an angry? You ever seen an angry little person? No. <laughs> oh man, somebody. I think somebody got something somebody to say about me. it. I call somebody got something to say about it. They'll like it might, it might be a midget caller right now. Sound like cuss you out. It sound like it's LG and E. <laughs> like, nah, look, we can't. Hey, we man, don't cut our lights off, man. We ain't right. calling. We ain't calling about. We ain't letting y'all get away with the pass it over. Plus, you owe like $3,000. We got a caller. Oh, uh, man. He so said we got a caller. Look. Shonda. Shonda. Okay. All right. Put Shonda on. Put Shonda on, man. Let's see what Shonda got to say. Okay. What's up, Shonda? Are you there? <laughs> Are you blowing? Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. He's blowing. Pass it. Hey, <laughs> my phone got charged off. What the hell am I doing today? Shut down. 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 You breaking up, baby. You gotta get Shonda, you gotta, you gotta Shonda. Cut the Wi-Fi on, baby. You got that. You got that family dollar Wi-Fi. I told you not you to get that family dollar Wi-Fi, man. You gotta at least go AT and T or something. She's clicking, man. Chop on me, dude. Okay. Mm -mm. Shonda. Yeah, it ain't. 
It ain't coming through, baby. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? I know. Shout to call back, bill. man. We want to hear your yeah. opinion, but yeah, right now back. you just not you just this not yeah, happening. Wasn't coming through. We lost. All right, we lost. All right, well we're moving forward anyway, That's man. Cool. We're talking about uh, Kevin Durant's <laughs> hairline. Bro, you just brought, we we was going to talk about the playoffs, but you gonna bring up his hairline. But I, I, it's 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 a hot topic to me. You understand what I'm saying? I need a hot comb. If, if you were to me. if you were one point, oh my god, million. And you look like you just left Newburgh Park from the swimming pool. That's his thing, man. Maybe he thugs it out, man. Fuck it. I don't know. I, I you know what? I would too. But I'll tell you this, though. I would too, bro. I'll tell you if this. I got though. all that money because a nigga know I'm rich. I don't care how bad right, my he heart might, is. That's what I'm saying. He might just thug it rich. out. He might just thug it out. But I'm saying I'll tell you this though. The last three games, showed out. Proved he's the best player on the planet. Yeah, he surpassed right. LeBron. You're right. Now he surpassed LeBron, bro. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He surpassed You're LeBron. You talking about the best player right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Best player yeah, on the planet. I said, yeah, best I, player on the planet. Yeah. Right I now. I, I would say Kevin it right. Durant. I, I would say it right. It's Kevin I would, Durant. I would. And I'm a Lakers yeah. fan, and I'm a LeBron's fan, and I would say it right now. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. He, You're right. He surpassed. But you guess what you guess what you said two weeks ago? Guess what was going? On? Same thing LeBron said. I already know. He's at home. I'm, I picked him to win. I, I'm not. I'm not. Home I picked him to win. I picked him to win. I picked him to win. Yeah, you did. I did. I picked him to win. They lost because your, your team been out since they they didn't even make it. I don't, I don't think I don't think my team. I'm a Chicago Bull fan. Anybody got any questions about you right there? Uh, I'm representing my team, but I don't think my team been in it since probably about like Jordan uh, when Derrick <laughs> Rose was like Jordan? 22. I think the last time my team even had a a, a spitting chance at the championship hey, bro, was when Derrick Rose was like 22. Know, like I'm gonna tell you about sports teams and people got certain sports teams. You understand what I'm saying? I wonder how they came up with their sports teams. All right. Because I'm going to tell mm-hmm. you. I mean, everybody's got a story. So I want to hear your story because you go from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. Right. His, well, really not East Coast. Chicago's really North. But he's a Chicago Bulls fan and a San Francisco 49ers fan. Mm-hmm. That, sounds, that sounds like Michael Jordan and uh, Joe Montana to me. That sounds like bandwagon to me. Somebody ding, ding, ding. That Give this guy like a gold star. You're absolutely right. Those, yeah. are, those are my players. Th- those are the reason why when I was growing up. Yeah. Teams because Louva, yeah. Louva ain't even got a uh, half semi-pro uh, uh, badminton team here. No, so absolutely. Yeah, that. so, you know, those, those those are the reasons right. why those are my teams. Right. And when I – but my, my loyalty is not something to be played with. So when we had Alex Smith and we had uh, uh, Tim Rattay, you know what I'm saying, I was still a 49er fan. All right? When we was – Two and fourteen, I was still a 49er fan. Same as I was when we was twelve and four and on our way to the Super Bowl. Right. All right? right. And the same thing with the Bulls. When the Bulls won in my lifetime four championships, right. I rolled with them like I ride with them today and we ain't won nothing was you in a long time. When they won their first two championships? They I, was, I was I was a I was a I was like a little baby, you know what I'm saying? I was like a little baby. I was, like, I was gonna say, you said four. They won six, three, and then no, they won six. No, I know they. I know they won six. I said four, four in my lifetime. Four in my lifetime. You know what I'm saying? But that you was in, born my, in my recollection. In my recollection. All that you can recall. Yeah, I said yeah, you was yeah. Born when they won the yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you could that, My recollection. Yeah. You were still drinking milk and off the titties. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, all that. And it's crazy that I said it about you because my NFL team is the New England Patriots, and my. Have you ever been to Boston? I sure haven't. No, there you go. I sure have it. But I'm going to tell you why I'm a New England Patriots fan. And people think it's because it's Tom Brady. And I, no, no, I know why. No, tell me why. Why? Because your son hmm? and your connection. No, no. No, that's no, not it? No, it's not it. No, it's not. I, I was a fan before it. Okay. All right. All right. First of all, I was a fan of Deion Branch at L. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then, I'd always been a New York Giants fan. I don't know why. I was a New York Giants fan. No, listen to me. I was a kid when I was a New York Giants fan. I've been a fan of my whole team since I was a kid. Well, but what I'm saying is the tuna, you know what I'm saying? The tuna, the coach, as he had New York Giants. Big tuna, yep. When he if you're a football on, man, you know who Big Tuna is. You know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Bill Parcells. Yep. When he used to go on TV, he used to be like, man, look, man, the fuck what y'all talking about? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. And if y'all don't like me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can lick my veneers. Because this veneers has been big for years. <laughs> Nigga got some big ass. He's like, he's like, give me the biggest veneers you got. Make them look like they goes, like the black dudes were. Right? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so dude, dude, dude left New York 
and went to, to New, New England. England. Yeah. I said, man, I'm following my coach because he's a gangster. You feel me? I'm following him. And Drew Bledsoe was the was the quarter was the quarterback then. But they then Ted Washington came from mm-hmm. U of L. Right. And then Deion Branch came from your bell. That's when I became. So that whole connection. Yeah, yeah that whole I connection. Get, I, get, I get that. You know I get that. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I can understand the whole coach thing, too, because that's why I like Duke. It's because I've always liked Coach K. I like the way he coached. I like the way he talked. I like the way he handled his players. Coach K, Coach Kentucky. <clears throat> I'm sorry? You said Coach K. I said Coach K. If we can run that back Run real that time, back. It sounds like he, he said, misunderstood. It sounds like he said Coach K to me. Yeah, you I said mean, Coach it may, K. I may have stuttered a little bit, but I said Coach K. Coach K. Okay, Mike Shishetsky. Okay, when you said it right there, it sounded like you could have said it. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't say coach. I mean, I might have said it a yeah. little bit, and it might have yeah, sounded yeah, a little. Yeah, you know, so I get that. I get. I give you that. Fan, what I'm saying, fan, though, yeah. everybody know who Coach K is. Yeah, my stepson is a Duke fan. Shout and out to Deontay Branch. He's a Duke fan. Everybody know Man, who. You know what I'm saying? Mike Shishetsky. Yeah, so I know who he yeah. is. Yeah. He's gone after next year. I'm sick. Out of there. I'm sick. What y'all gonna do? I'm sick. They're gonna have Bruce John Shire is gonna be all right. Coach Who? K, John Shire is gonna be our next coach. He's Who? a coach in waiting. John Shire. Who? He's a point guard on the championship team. Look him up. Who? But uh, like I said, who? He's been the assistant coach for like ten years. Who? John Shire. Listen to me, bro. You know who he is? Listen to me. All right. Let's go. Can can I say this real quick? All right. The head coach at Duke, Coach K. The head coach, of, the head coach of Duke, Mike Shashevsky. Shashevsky. No, no, the new coach. Shashevsky. What's the new coach's name? The goat. No, the new coach. John Shire. Yeah, the the head coach at, at Duke, John Shire. Bro, it has no star power. I to mean, that you name. can't. He's not gonna do I mean, nothing, bro. Replace. That gonna be bull, bro. Nah, like it's bull on top of your hat. That uh, gonna be bull, nigga. For the next five years, we ain't gonna be no more bull, y'all. Try, then y'all gonna try to come. We gonna be no more bull, y'all. You feel me? You a laugh? We still gonna get top recruits, bro. Smack y'all. We still gonna get top recruits, bro. Just because it's Duke. Smack y'all. We gonna get top recruits because it's Duke. We gonna bust y'all every year. You a laugh? You a novel? You a novel? We all we got our way out the NBA playoffs, bro. We did. I'm gonna tell you what. So who you picking? Who you picking to win now? Man, the Phoenix Suns. I'm with you. I'm with you. If anybody want to call in, would they pick who they think is gonna win an uh, NBA championship? Call in, man. What's the number? If anybody think your dirty ass one, Bucks is going to win, eight, let eight, me know. 234-1076, the OG Tony Shook Show. Call in with your, with your opinion who's going to win the NBA Finals, man. Phoenix Suns for me, bro. Especially when, when uh, 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 CP3 come back. They already, they already beat the Clippers. You know what I'm saying? Plus, Kawhi's gone, bro. He's out for the rest of the year. He's out. I don't know. They don't know that for sure. He's out. Uh, is he? Listen to me. They, Phoenix, in my opinion, Phoenix is going to go ahead and murder these niggas out for that nigga come back with them little, little short ass, no hang time braids. All right, well, he ain't. He, OG Tony Shook Show, man. <laughs> he ain't got to have, come he back gotta have long man. braids, I don't care about nothing about the basketball arena, game. Bro. So what? They play in our arena. They play in the Staples. That's our arena. LA Lakers. Are you a poet for the people? Illuminating the emotions of those who know what suffering from an unjust system feels like. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to hold a crowd by the ears, so for us to take on that role with our God-given craft, it's only right. Are you a poet for the people? A destiny meant not for the weak. We too have suffered trials and tribulations, experienced in rebuilding what was once torn down with the words that we speak. Beep, 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 beep. No limit cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Commercial Cleaning. We educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No Limit Cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. We're back, we're back, Shook Show. I just found out from my production manager that our show has been extended. More time for y'all. Bro, let me just say what I was saying. I was trying to lie to him, bro. And just, you know what I'm saying? Make it <laughs> make it eventful, bro. You know what I'm saying? That I show up for an hour. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Because we had like two people that said our show was good, actually great. You know what I'm saying? So we decided to extend it for an hour. You know what I'm saying? To give y'all even more of, you know what I'm saying, what we bring it to y'all. You understand what I'm talking about? Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Go cards. Nah, we go do. Coach K's out of the year. Let's go blue devils. 
Y'all Where Rick Pitino at? Rick, Rick, Rick Pitino's coaching in Alaska somewhere, right? <laughs> no, he's got a he's got a Division two team that made uh, the NCAA tournament. Okay, yeah, yeah, they made a tournament last yeah. year. They made some they made the D two tournament. Okay. No, it's the, I don't know what the, whatever they are. They made the, the, the NCAA don't tournament. Don't talk about my coach. My coach is the goat. Huh? My coach is the goat. I ain't gonna lie. Coach K's a, Coach K's, he's a beast. He's a goat. Yeah, he's a beast. Plus, he done coached everybody. Yeah. He done nah, coached Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. He coached he coached some stars, but he didn't coach everybody. I mean, you know, everybody that matters because he played. He was on. Uh, he was the head coach of all them Olympic teams. Yeah. You, okay. So what? Them, them is everybody that matters. matters. You don't send no. You don't send no scrub. You you ain't gonna send uh uh what's it uh. Kwame Brown to the Olympics, you know what I mean? Like you ain't you ain't coaching no scrub. I thought you were gonna say uh, Chris Mack coached the Bulls. Nah, you ain't sending you ain't sending you ain't sending them you ain't sending them motherfuckers to uh, you ain't sending them hey, people bro, to the you could use you could use that as a barometer Smith. right there. You could use that as a barometer for real for for NCAA coach, bro. Listen, to me. would they send Joe Coach to coach the Olympics? Right. right. Coach Mack for U of L. Who he coach? No, they're not gonna send you to coach no Olympics. No, so he's not. hey, bro. That's that's what they need to do. When you hire a coach, I'm gonna tell you all your all these NCAA institutions. This is your criteria. When you hire, ESPN, bro. That's what I do. Let me cut my phone. Tell you, tell you, shut up, uh, bro. We live. This what the teeth thing. stink. No matter. Hey, NCAA institutions. Yo, when you are doing a co a coaching search, ask yourself. Will this coach, will they ask your coach to coach the Olympics? Mm. And if the answer is no, don't hire him. But then who you can't, uh, the, 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 but the Olympic tier, top tier coaches already got a job. Like, so who do you hire? Man, y'all got that money, man. You got to take a chance Y'all got somebody. that money, man. You got to take a chance on Listen somebody. to me, bro. Understand what I'm saying. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. All right, if I was an NCAA tuition, I'm going to talk, and I'm going to talk about football because it's, it's one goat in college football as far as coaching. All right. If I had all the money in the world, if I if I'm an NCAA, that's listen to me. I'm gonna take all my bread. Nick Saban, what you want? Well, he gets what he wants. Right now, now, now he's underpaid at Alabama. You crazy? He's not a coach in freaking college no, he's history. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's underpaid for what he does. Who, who for, gets paid what, more than for, him for what he does? He's I, what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he might be the highest paid coach. All right, then he gets but, he gets compensated. But he's underpaid for what he does. No, he gets compensated. He's no, a highest paid coach. No. He gets compensated. He wins the most championships as a highest paid coach. But the Duh. high but the highest paid coach, that don't mean what he's doing, what he's being paid is worth that. He could be the highest paid coach, but he should be, be getting paid a whole lot more for what he does and the NFL talent that he turns out. That's all I'm saying. That's I'm not I'm not saying that he's not getting paid well. No, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is for what he does for Alabama he should be getting. He should get okay. Paid more. All right. I hear what you're saying. What I'm saying is, won the most championships. Highest paid coach. You being compensated. Done. I didn't say he's not. So for but what I'm, he does at Alabama, yes, he's being compensated. He's highest paid coach. But he's, I don't think. He's so he's paid. being compensated. I, yes, I, I he is. A, I read an article. I'm, they said, man, he's not getting paid what he's worth. I don't because, care what that article because, said. That's because, one person's opinion. But, but, but what I'm saying, bro, it's like you're going against me, bro. I'm not saying that he's like he should get it. What I'm saying is, what he does for Alabama. He should be killing our coach out here. He's in the championship talk every year. What other institution is like that outside of maybe Clemson? Clemson, Ohio State. He should be getting paid. They're all in the championship talk If I'm in the championship talk every year. Oklahoma. Man, they're I'm, all in the championship talk every single no, year. Sir. They are. Alabama's in the championship talk every year. So is Ohio State. So, so is Clemson. Ohio State ain't. Yes, they are. Clemson's not. They are. Nobody is. Clemson's only been for the past five, bro, six years. Bro, you Clemson's kidding me, bro? Alabama with Nick Saban. Alabama's like every there year. every year. They're, they're, they're every year. Every year. Every year. There's every year. There's four teams. Every year. There's four. No, teams every year. There's Alabama. That is like every year. There's Alabama. You think is you gonna you gonna be able to pretty much put your money on them getting to the playoff or at least close to it? And that's Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma. Every year. For the past what Oklahoma, ten years? No. Ohio State, no. Yeah, Clemson for the past five, six years, bro. I listen to me. I bet on college bro. Football. I know what's going on. Every year, every year, Alabama is there. All right, Ohio State is not there every year. They Clemson are in not the. There you said you said in the I'm conversation. No, listen, you said people no, talking, I'm about talking about. I'm talking about in the conversation. Alabama, listen, Ohio State, Clemson, Oklahoma. No, listen, every year they're in the conversation. Listen, they are in the conversation. This, this is what I'm saying. 
They're in the conversation. Every year, Alabama Every is year. there. Every year. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And so are the there's, rest of those teams. No, no, no they not, bro. Listen to me, bro. You yes, cannot compare are. none of them to Alabama, bro, with Nick Saban. I'm comparing you can't, bro. I'm comparing. That's a sensitive stuff, bro. It's not sensitive. You, you look at the dub, look at the statistics. Look at the bro. statistics. You use a falafel, whatever them things is. That first of all, you don't even know what it's you know what called. Second of all, you wash yourself bro. with your beard. You be spilling. Yeah, you just, you just lather nigga. your beard up and just be like, hey. "Come on, bro. At least I got a beard." Oh man, funny looking at that motherfucker won't even grow, bro. No, it, it, it was. I've had my. I've had my. Joke. That's why I said thing so little right here on the side, bro. I, did, I cut him like that on purpose. You need to beat that nigga up. Whoever your bob is, smack a nigga in his face, throw him in the trunk, throw him in Ohio, bro, for cutting your beard. You need to beat your bro. dentist up, man, because your your whole tongue you stink, even, bro. Why are you trying to smell me, bro? I can't help it. You talking? You won't stop talking with that dirt ass tongue. That's why your tattoos is little and ugly. Anyway, at least you can see mine. Man, you can see mine too. What you trying to say? At least you can see mine. You can see my tattoos. Uh, it's so look good. Yeah, all right. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, anyway, all right. NBA Finals. What's the conference finals, man? Yeah, let's. We want to know y'all picks. Phoenix man. and Clippers. Who's y'all pick? Who you like? Hold on, this. We don't do sign language on the show, bro. What are you talking about? Bruh, like. Phoenix and the Clippers, bro. Who do you got? I already told you I got the Suns. I got the Suns going all the way. That's just because I said I had the Suns. Bro. Bro. Man, get out of here, bro. I feel you, bro. I know you want to beat me, my nigga. I would want to beat me. I don't want to be you. Who would want to be you? Come on. Look at yourself. Come on, bro. Anyway, NBA playoffs. Phoenix or the Clippers? I say Phoenix. He follows me. He says Phoenix. I'm not following him. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's what he did when we came to the show. He's like, bro, I want to be on your show. Oh, I said, God. bro, I'll put you on my he show. He asked me, bro. To be on the show. I pat him on his head. I said, I'll put you on my show. Don't touch me, bro. Damn, bro. You did a Bruce Lee on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you did a Jet Lee on me right there, bro. Don't touch me like that no more, bro. We're going to be in her boxing, bro. Yeah, man. I know a little something. He might. That's because he watched a lot of Jet Lee movies. I seen so he many practice kung fu movies in my and life. And some bikers. He be out. Remember the bikers with the little neon thing? <laughs> he be out there with no shirt on with some. Like with some sandals, <laughs> practicing karate, watching. Bruce nah, I know Lee. you ain't talking, bro. You was in diamonds last week. You was in diamonds last week with a mesh wife beat on <laughs> and fourteen gold chains. Nah, no, what, bro? You lying, bro? And two glow sticks. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. That's what, hey, that's what, that's what, he that's what you was he doing, doing bro. bro. Hey, bro. He be listening. He be, I should have got a video of it. Hey, Y'all should have seen it, man. That's what he was using. <laughs> We smoke local, Kill bro, me. and listen with a, to with a mesh song. white beat on. With a mesh white beat on some cowboy bro, boots. Mother, That's some Stacey no and mother. cowboy boots on. on bro. Where your nose ring at? Why you ain't got your nose ring here hey, today? <laughs> you starting on my nerves. <laughs> my bad. I don't you need to tell everybody my nerves, bro. Don't y'all, man, OG <laughs> Tone, OG jokes, tone look the way he do every day right here. That, he don't really be doing that, man. Don't worry about it, man. Sorry, my bad. So, uh. Public service announcement. <laughs> All right. Listen to this. If you have a friend and he is light skinned, it's not his fault. He didn't ask to be brought into this world. He was born there. Okay. All right. If you have a friend who is dark skinned, you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I got on a mess. I got on a due mess. To the, the, due to the illicit <laughs> nature of their bullshit. <laughs> And depending upon how long you've been friends with said right, dark bro. skin. Hey, I'm going to keep it real, though. I ain't never seen no dark skin male cheerleader, but I've seen all the male cheerleaders on the teams, bro. They, they was all bro. light skin. <laughs> bro. They was all light bro. skin, bro. Uh, I, some of them, they be out there doing that shit and trying to flip bitches and shit. You feel? <laughs> they all bro. be light Hold skin, on, bro. It don't nah. need no dark skin I'm gonna, cheerleader. I'm going to need that fact check. I mean, we got to fact check that. <laughs> you Look, might find one gal- or two, There's got to be some dark skin you cheerleaders in the world. Two, ain't, no, ain't no damn. Ain't no damn way. They light skin, bro. Those, those. And they had to. That's a good comeback, though. That's a good comeback. I had to, bro. I murdered you, so you had to. You had to. Yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah, you still alive. You still alive. You didn't murder me, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, listen to me, man. Tell your friends, tell everybody, all the two people, two and a half people that's watching, the two people and the little person. If y'all watching, bro, tell y'all friends to watch I'm our show, you bro. Say midget. We on here in Clown. Why you glad you say you must have got a midget. You, midget. you must have busted a midget and got still got feelings for it, don't you? That's what it is. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And I mean, let it happen. Out. Just be real. It never happened. Just be real. Christine. I bet you it was five, too. Christie's that her name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I always thought about, hey, bro, I don't want to get in that shit, but I always thought I about it. I never have it. Hey, bro. I never have it. Hey, but for real. I never hey, have yeah, dude. Hey, but can you do that and, like, take that leg like it and spin them like that? Can you do that? Did you just try that? Because I would have tried. I would have had to try that, bro. If, if they that smile, I mean, put the legs up, look, and do like, Christine. Like the roulette table, you know what I'm saying? And spin it, motherfucker. You feel me? I don't know, bro. It might work. I don't know. Yeah. But you got to have it. You better be ready. You feel me? Anyway, OG Tony Shook Show, it's man. Hard to it. It's we hard was talking to about it. the NBA playoffs. Okay. <laughs> Keep on coming back to these playoffs. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay on topic, bro. <laughs> stay on topic, bro. Stay on topic, You just asked if you could spin a midget on a roulette wheel. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I stay on topic. I got to come back. <laughs> I got to bring it back, bro. Am I right? Can I bring it back? All right. All right. <laughs> Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. I like Atlanta the and Milwaukee. I like the Hawks. Honestly. I like I like the Hawks, man. And I know it's Trey crazy. Young. Trey. Trey's a monster. Trey bro. Trey, man. Hey, but I'm gonna tell you. Trey like Trey, it. man. Nah, I'm gonna tell you, Giannis, Giannis came into his own. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm gonna stop you right there. He came into his Let own. Let me stop you right there. Okay. His name is Giannis. Hmm? His name is Giannis. Bro, listen to me. Not Giannis. Do you know you, you know what you know what uh 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 Filet Min Young is? Mm -hmm. Right, I call it Filet Mignum. I call a nigga what I want to call him, nigga. It starts with a G, Giannis. Giannis, I don't care about none of that. I don't have no accent, none of that. I'm not from wherever he's from or none of that. Giannis, that's what I'm going to call you. That's when you walk up. You know how we play with You know how we play with people? We walk up. Like, I call you Suge. Your real name is not Suge. Your name is Sean. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Tony. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you gonna put me out there. <laughs> I'm glad just to say my last name, bro, because they might scan that and be looking for me. Man, she's she's like studio. Hey, she's 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 studio. Uh, we, hey, hey, might not another one of us make it out of here. We'd have did that. I swear to God. <laughs> hey, hey, they be showing reruns next week. You know what I'm saying? Hell, the cops. Both these niggas is locked up, million dollar bonds, <laughs> nigga, for nothing. We wasn't doing nothing but trying to be real, bro. All you was talking with, man, let us hey. do what we do, man. Hey. You know what I'm saying? OG Tony Shook Show is what we do. But his name is I wonder Johnson, how many times. I wonder how many times. Uh, have I picked my beard tonight? I don't think I did oh too much. Oh my god! Did y'all watch? Did y'all oh follow? Let's run. Let's, y'all, let's I, run like, back. Let's, let's run back the whole show and see if I, because I was trying to make sure I did. You feel? Know I'm talking about. But we got to go to you, break. You man. can watch it in post production. Okay, that's right. You're right. Post production. Right. You man, just count it. Spell that. OG Tony Shook Show, man. <laughs> we right. <laughs> Cleaning, your dirt is our business. Commercial cleaning, we educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No Limit Cleaning, your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. Are you a poet for the people? Illuminating the emotions of those who know what suffering from an unjust system feels like. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to hold a crowd by the ears, so for us to take on that role with our God-given craft, it's only right. Are you a poet for the people? A destiny meant not for the weak. We too have suffered trials and tribulations, experienced in rebuilding what was once torn down with the words that we speak. Beat, 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 beat. Yo, we back. Hey. OG Tony Shook Show. Uh, we didn't really get to finish about the Eastern Conference. Who do, you said who you, you said you like the, the Hawks? Yeah, I like the Hawks. I like the Bucks. I'm gonna tell you why I like the Bucks. Because of Giannis. Giannis. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis acting pooped po. I think they did poop ball. Oh my lord! Giannis Jesus. acting poop ball. I messed that nigga's whole name up. Yeah, his whole got, joint. His, his uh, his people might get in contact with. Look, bro, you can't be desperate. Hey, you know, hey, that's defamation. They right might there. tweet you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis acting poop ball. Uh, 
Dude, that's the reason came, why. That's came, the reason why you. He you came into his own guys. playing them Nets, bro. When they in the first when they, when they lost some first couple of games or the first game or whatever, they was talking about man, you ain't doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You cold in that. He wasn't showing his ass. Now he starts showing his ass in the last game, and then all them niggas got injured. Harden, Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what messed them up. Yeah. And, and you think they're gonna give him a pass for that? I think the media will. I think they give him a pass because because Kyrie will. was hurt. Harden wasn't 100. percent yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ass. But you niggas got like 18 styles. But on here's team, the though. thing, though. You got you got three styles on your team that have been hurt 287 out of 300 games type shit. Like, no, they, no. Th- you know what I'm saying? I, and that's an exact stat, but, like, that's that's the type of team that you can put together. Now, they all great players. But you know LeBron they James They all top said, 10 players. You know LeBron James but they always said hurt. that quick turnaround in the season, you know what I'm saying, that's why they had so many injuries. Yeah, LeBron saying? can say whatever he wants to, man. I mean, you don't think that's true? It's easy to tweet from home when you ain't got a, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> game plan. <laughs> now, you can keep knocking him because he's at his 200. I, I love LeBron. I love LeBron. He's one of my favorite players. One of them. Okay. All right? I, don't get me wrong. Okay. But it's easy to tweet from home. I mean, you can tweet I mean, from the sideline. So from why not that nigga tweet from home? Let him do what you he sit over do. You so it's easy to make excuses. Kevin Durant's tweeting from home too. It's easy to make the nigga excuses. Nigga that you thought was gonna go to the finals and win it all. He's at home tweeting like Kyrie. The, the dude tweet. you thought was going to uh, go to the finals, win it all, LeBron James. I didn't think they was gonna go to the finals. <laughs> you picked them to win. No, I, I, that's my team. I want them to win. I didn't say that was going. But that was your pick. No, my pick is my team, of course. And I want him to get there, but I'm knowing we're not 100, percent bro. We wasn't gonna make it. I knew that for a fact. So you said, but basically, what you're saying is you just pick with your heart. Not no, your head. I didn't pick nobody. Okay, we'll I'm gonna ride with my team till they die. No, obviously you do that. Right. Me too. So when they die, now you know what I'm saying. My team ain't in there. Ain't nothing. I'm not saying. That I'm saying you picked yeah. them to win. Of course, they might. Because you you picked with your heart, not your head. No. That's what you say. If I if I was Brian, gonna put, you heard this. If I was gonna put money really on the believe pick, in you, he don't really believe if in I, you. If I'm not. They got we got injuries, bro. Plus, you everybody know what I'm got injuries. I'm talking about, but the wrong thing they did. That's, that's why. That's why uh, the Brooklyn Nets lost. Man, they should have never got rid of Rondo. No, nah, I, I, I can get down with you from Louisville. That. They should have never got rid of Rondo. They should not have got rid of Rondo. They should have kept Rondo. Yeah, they and we would have. We would have. I'm telling you, bro. He's 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 part of a big three, but you can't changer. come on. He's bro. a game changer. He really come is. Come on, man. And especially playoff Rondo's different. Come on, bro. He might not hit not nerd jumper. Right, he got 14 steals. Yeah, <laughs> he, on, yeah he's dumb, bro. And he's he gonna is. make it look easy, bro. Yes, he he's, he's gonna dumb, make it look bro. Easy. Shout I, out, I, 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 give, I give you that. From my hometown, Louisville, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gonna. Sure. Uh, you say Atlanta, I say the Bucks. I say Phoenix and six over the Bucks. All right. In the finals. Anybody got something to say about that? If y'all watching my show, if y'all ain't watching my show, I don't care. You gonna watch it later? You can't call in yeah. later. You, because you, you still comment rewrite. though, but we ain't gonna answer, right? Because we here now, we right, right here now. now. OG Tony and Shook Show, man, mess um, with us, bro. You know what I'm talking about we only talking about real life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we funny, sometimes we ain't. That's what we do. Sometimes depends on how not. butter we are. You know what I'm saying? We keep it all way gangster. You heard me? <laughs> all right, man. Well, so the show's almost over, man. We kind of want to leave y'all with some positive thoughts, man. Some positive. You know now we want to leave y'all with some. We don't kind of want to do nothing. We want to leave. You got to be more assertive. It's I don't need aff- to be more assertive, bro. You don't bro. have to. You, you don't have to take one word out of what I said and try to act like I ain't said. We want to leave y'all with some positive thoughts, some positive notes. You Not like kinda. this dude right here. You said kind of, bro. All right, let's leave him so, with some positive notes. So here, let me say. Yeah, here's one thing. I won't say is invest your money. All right, everybody out there, invest your money. Mm-hmm. Make, make your money work for you. Don't keep on working for your money, man. Make your money work for you. Invest in what? Though? I mean, there's many things you can invest in. Okay, well, nice. Right. You can invest in your friends. You can invest in your family. You can invest in the stock market. You can invest in any business out here. Just invest your money. Make your money work for you. Don't keep working for your money. Right. That's one thing. Right. That's, that's what I got to say. Right. Yeah. And I, I understand that. And, I'm, you know, the way you said it was kind of, like, weird, though. It wasn't it was weird. weird. It wasn't weird. It was weird to me. Well, then you're... I'm saying you're, because you're, you're like, invest your money. But, like, invest your money in what? Give me some games. That's what I would be saying. I'm not going to give you no show. game. I'm going to give Damn, you some advice. Because well, the game is game. to be sold, not to be told. You told We was talking to me earlier about some Doji coin. Tell them invest in Doji coin or whatever it is. Because right, you're going to buy it from me. So the I'm game is to be sold, not to be told. It makes man. sense, bro. You can't sell Doji coin. No, I'm going to send you a referral. For what? Robin Hood? Mm-hmm. No, I'm yeah, so, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's gonna get it's gonna, get, it's gonna get me some. some I'm already on Robin Hood. I made Ooh, eight thousand last person. month. Oh yeah, eight thousand last month. No, I'm lying though. I'm I don't, know know I don't even put my business out there like that. But I don't even want to tell me this. That's how you do it with, with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I hit so a nigga. Like, you can't tell a nigga you hit a trifecta at, at I church. I need like, I like two and a half. Man, can I get a first, bet? Man, you nah, nigga, you can't get no bet. Nigga, it's like when a nigga try to come to a nigga and buy something from nigga. Man, can I get a discount? Nigga, you don't go on out of go out to Walmart and ask for no discount. Then you pay what they want paid. You know what I mean? I'm going to get an advance. That's my note for the day. Support black businesses. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And don't go in there looking for no, you know what I'm yeah. saying, no discount, bro. Can I get, that's 10, bro. Can I get you seven? Man, what are you smoking dope, nigga? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go in there and pay what they want. Then give them, then give them a, 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 a tip. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Right. Support ourselves. We, we got to support each other. You feel me? Yeah. And that kind of leads back to what we saw about last week with the shooters and all that, the violence and everything. Like, if we support each other, then we will, as a people, rise up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And so, and that's that's how it's done. We got to be together and not against one another. You know. And mm -hmm. there's a book that I copped at the Knowledge Fest called Powernomics, man. Get that book. Mm. Get that book. Claude Anderson. Mm -hmm. Claude, Dr. Claude Anderson. Dr. Dr. Claude, Claude Anderson. Anderson. Get yeah. that book. I just bought it. I ain't started reading, but I'm gonna start reading it this weekend. This it's very powerful, man. From what I heard, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna take breaks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like to get pissed off. Well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the more angry, the more that's angry why, you that's are, why, that's why the more two, angry you are, the more I motivated you are. That's why I got two broke hands, bro. I got two broke hands, and I didn't do it just, you know what I'm saying, whatever. The, the more angry you are, the more motivated you are. So yeah. that's that's okay. It's all right to be, it's all right to be mad. Is that your opinion? Yeah. That is my opinion. That. I've never the more heard. angry you are, the more motivated you are? No, I never, I, I heard the more angry you are, the more violent you be in, in, in that's one way to look at it as well. However, right. the more angry you are, if you get mad about something mm, sure. and you got a goal in mind, mm. right, and you and something right. along the way okay. of your goal I'm, I'm makes you mad, sure. it, it motivates you more yeah. to get to your goal. Therefore, okay. you can whatever was in your way that made you mad, cool. you, can, you can show them right. that I'm here now. Cool. This nigga just did a whole Donald Trump rambling, bro. About why he didn't get hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Dude, you call president. me Donald Trump again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tip you out that bro, chair. Bro, you halfway there. I'm gonna tip you out that chair. You halfway there. You might have some of him in you. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm just saying, bro. No, but look, but you me... have, but you have mirror cat. Hey, bro. Let's go. Don't man. ever tell me not to repeat a joke when you done called me a mirror cat like 84,000 times, bro. I'm sick of that, bro. Just like I called you a giraffe you look like. and a camera, bro. You called me a mirror cat and a flash squirrel. You can't keep saying them same too, bro. Even though I might look like it, but you can't keep you saying like, it. It's funny you look like it. Yeah, care. all right. Well, look, anyway, right. this is the line that I wanted to say. And I'm glad that you brought up about this violence. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. this is what I want to say. <laughs> Damn, that what you spitting out your teeth? No, I got that's, that's Hey, bro, we got, just, back here. Stink. we got to back in. We got to people to come here and clean up. The what stink, number though. of them pieces in your mouth? <laughs> bad for them people. <laughs> it's just smell like toxic waste. Come on, bro. All right, go ahead, finish your, your thought, finish your thought, Yeah, bro. let me finish, finish bro, thought. because you you keep stopping me, bro, because you monkey. What you want to be? Monkey you gorilla. Look like yes. My nigga. <laughs> anyway, this is what I want to say. If you a shooter, unlimited, let, I, had, I, had to get, I had to get it, I had to get it. I had to get it. Yeah, 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 I know y'all was waiting. Yeah, I had we ain't like got that much pause. time on the show, bro. <laughs> I had a little pause right there, but look, listen to me, bro. You niggas is out here doing this shooting stuff. Y'all broke, bro. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the gutter with you. Y'all broke. I don't care how many bodies you got. You a hitter. I don't care about y'all broke. You bums. You broke, and I'm gonna tell you why. Cause if you got that money, you pay niggas like you to do the dirty work. You feel me? Y'all broke, man. You you out here doing dumb shit, taking chances with your life, and you're dead broke. Cause rich niggas don't shoot; they pay for shooters. So if you a shooter, you getting paid by the rich nigga. And guess who's laughing at the end of the day? The rich nigga. And guess who's laughing at him? Who? Joe Biden. Donald Trump. The power. Like I'm talking about, bro. If you didn't go to the leftist or the left, bro, what the fuck that have to do with any? Joe Biden ain't laughing at nobody, bro. I'm not saying that literally. I'm saying that figuratively. It's, it's them that are laughing at everybody that's doing that. Because that's a whole circle and they know it and they created it. Yeah. I mean, they it, it was created. It's, it's systematically created the way, you know what I'm saying? The systematically. Way, the way we do things. Yes. And that's a fact. 
if anybody wants to dispute that, you understand what I'm saying? Well, you can come on my show and we can sit here and have a whole conversation about it. And I might not even be a whole lot educated about it, but I'm going to tell you, man, it's a fact. It was systematically made. You understand what I'm saying? Why do you think they got private prisons, bro? Why do you think they make laws against what black people do so they can lock black people up in the private prisons to get pay, prisons to get paid for, bro? Come on, man. If you if you just if you just take a look, man. What the, what's hey, you remember one show that had <laughs> Levar Burton on? You remember Levar Burton? He said, "Take a look. It's, it's in a book. book. That's reading Read rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> man, look in the book, man. Read. You hear me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they put it in front of your face, red lining. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? I'm talking about, bro. Come on, bro. They wanted us. They wanted us to go ahead and be like, look, man, I said, look, man, I don't even want to be free no more. You understand what I'm talking about? And I'm going to pick a cotton for you because I know I can get some, some chitlins and wooty wooty blase blase. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you what. Get out here. Get that money. Preach. Because you want to pay the shooter. I mean, if it comes down, you know, and honestly, I'm not advocating for violence or anything. But the shooters is the broke niggas. Because they're getting paid by the rich niggas. And that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You can't, don't try to Google it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you feel me? Get your money, man. You can open business. You can do whatever. Like you said, invest, bro. It's a lot of things you yeah. can do. Matter of fact, if you want to invest, if you want to start some business, I can show you how to do all this stuff, man. Call it number on the screen next time we come on the show. I'll give you some G about it. I'll give you some game. It ain't even hard. It don't even cost that much money. You just got to go out there and put in the work. How much it costs for LLC? It's like what? twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, yeah. Twenty dollars, forty dollars for LLC. Like, it's not. It's really. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's really cheap. Yeah, but they got you funded. Can, you yeah, can start. You, a, you can start a business. Bro, I there's got a million two different businesses. ways to get loans. I got like, two businesses right now. I got there's, this radio there's station. Things, I'm there's this. other things. There's other things. Other positive things you can do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You to just, get you yourself just gotta out of your situation. You got to open your mind to it. Yeah, you got to be accepting of it. Right. One hundred percent. You got to. But it's out there, man. But that's what they don't teach you in high school. They don't teach you. They don't teach you none of that. They don't teach you about wealth. They don't teach you about entrepreneurship. They don't teach you, they don't they don't teach you about teach you credit. Your taxes. They don't All teach that. They don't teach you none of that. They won't teach you about Columbus when he landed on Plymouth Rock and saved everybody and did what he did and they mm. and, and Lewis and Clark. And all that. Crops, that's, that's crazy that I remember that because they taught that Lewis and Clark trekked across the United States. Hey, and I see, hey, I seen a bumper stick on this lady on this lady's uh on this on this lady's uh card the other day, right? It said, "Nobody's illegal when the land is stolen, nigga." <laughs> How can you be illegal when y'all stole this nigga? Everybody's illegal. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm. OG Tony Shook Show, man. Love y'all, man. Call it next time. Love you, man. Show out. <laughs>